Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today I'm gonna to take you through a really quick and easy tutorial on how I can create a glitter tumbler in just a couple of days. So you're gonna join me on this journey for the next couple of days. Um, and I'm gonna show you each step on how uh, I create a cup really quickly. Um, and so I will list all of the products and equipment used in this tutorial in the description box if you wanna follow along at home. Um, and as always, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, put them in the comment box. I am really active down there and I am happy to help. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I already went uh, ahead and prepped and spray painted my cup. Um, if you wanna see how I prep and spray paint my cups, I will link a video um, down in the description box or above. Um, and I went ahead and mixed um, 15 milliliters of epoxy resin. That's about how much I would use um, for a cup this size using this technique. Remember when you guys are working with epoxy resin that you do use um, the correct personal protection equipment. Make sure you have your gloves on. Make sure you have your organic vapor respirator on. Um, be safe, okay? Also, the color that I'm going to be using for the glitter on this project is Bright. Um, this is from PT Olive Glitters. If you can't get your hands on Bright, another color that would work for this project would be uh, Love Lace, also from PT Olive Glitters. Um, you wanna use, for this particular technique, we wanna use an extra fine glitter. So a 0.08 glitter is ideal. Uh, the goal here, what we're trying to do is create a look like this. So we're gonna use a white versatile glitter that is kind of translucent that will show whatever color we're putting, we're putting the glitter over, it'll show through the glitter. So that saves us time, it saves us effort, and we can use one glitter color over the entire cup to get a great effect really quickly. If you wanted to use any different kind of colors, obviously you could um, just for this particular cup. This pretty pink and white is what we're doing. So I'm gonna bring you guys down in real close and show you the next steps. All right, so I've got my 15 milliliters of epoxy that I've already mixed and I've got my glitter and <clears throat> you're gonna want to measure out about five, maybe five milliliters of glitter. I'm not sure. Let's just kind of pour it in and see. Really just enough to like fully cover the top of that epoxy. So if you could see, that's about how much glitter I've got going into this. And then we're going to mix the glitter straight into the epoxy. You don't want it to get chunky. Um, so you don't want to add too much, but you also don't want to add too little. The goal for this is to have a really dense, sparkly glitter application um, with kind of minimal effort and for all of that glitter to kind of sink in uh, to the epoxy so that when the epoxy cures with the glitter on there, you're gonna have a really smooth surface so you can jump right into your next steps without having to do additional layers of epoxy. So if you guys can see, look how pretty that is. Okay, and then we've got our tumbler here. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit so you can see the application part. So here we're just spreading on the glitter and epoxy mixture. And we just wanna make sure we spread it really evenly, get every bit of the cup. You don't want this to be too thick. Um, and you will notice kind of in some areas where you'll feel the glitter uh, through the epoxy and that's okay. Um, but mainly the goal here is to get like even thickness around the whole surface of the cup. All right, and we're just smoothing it out. 
Um, once we got everything on, we're going to take it over to the turner and let it turn for about six to eight hours. All right, so our cup is turned for eight hours and we're just going to work on sanding it. So when I'm sanding, I like to use um, three to four different grits of sanding blocks. Um, and we're going to start at the top rim of the cup. And we're just going to be uh, smoothing out that top rim and creating a really small amount of space between where the glitter starts and where the top of the rim is so that we can create our seal without going inside the cup or being in an area that's exposed to water. I'll eventually do like um, a full sanding process video, but we're just kind of going through really quickly on this one. So here you can see where I've got like my rim completely sanded down. It's nice and smooth. Um, and then I'm gonna go over with a, a finer grit than the 60 that I started with, I'm going down to an 80. Just smoothing around. And I'm kind of feeling with my fingers as I go, and then I'm going to buff out those sanding marks with a 120 grit sanding block. Just really to like make extra sure I've got everything smooth. Also, notice too, you guys, with this technique that we applied the glitter in, we are able to sand. Granted, I'm, I am sanding pretty lightly, but we are able to sand right after that first coat of epoxy and glitter. It's been curing for eight hours, and we can pull it off the turner and start sanding right away, even before a second coat of epoxy. Um, you just really want to make sure that you're not sanding, like, too hard. <laughs> Um, when I'm doing the bottom rim on this one because it's such a thin layer, I'm only going to use like a 120 grit or a 220 grit. Okay, so after sanding, we'll have washed the cup off with Dawn dish soap and water, um, get it completely dry with some coffee filters, and then we'll bring it out to apply the water slide image. So I'm just going to look for the smoothest side on the cup like no bumpies or anything. Um, and I've already got my water slide image printed and sealed and cut out. Um, I will also be doing a more in-depth water slide video later on, um, but we're just kind of doing a quick run through here. So I've got my water slide and I'm just gonna submerge this in water. Let it sit in the water for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, this is Kodiak brand water slide, which I will have linked in the description box. It's my favorite uh, water slide paper. And we're just going to position it on the cup where we want and uh, use a ruler to make sure that we've got it lined up the way we want. Um, and then we're just going to kind of pull from one side to get it started. Sometimes it takes a few tries <laughs> to get it um, pulled off the paper like smoothly to where those edges don't wrinkle up. All right, and we're just gonna slide it off the paper and smooth as we go. And I wanna leave my paper the transfer paper on it um, for as long as possible. And so we're just kind of pulling and smoothing. I don't want to touch the top or bottom of my water slide too much. It is super fragile. If you notice, I'm just pulling out that paper really slow and kind of smoothing out any bubbles or anything and then wiping it down with a wet coffee filter to kind of help smooth out any of those bubbles and kind of squeegee out the water that might be underneath all right so we're just smoothing it out don't wipe too hard just like really gentle pressure 
All right. And by using, you could, I mean, with this kind of cup, you could have put just like regular vinyl or whatever, but I thought this would be a cute idea. All right, so there's our water slide. We're gonna let that dry for about two to three hours. Um, and after it's dry, we're gonna move right into the final epoxy coats. So just like any other epoxy coat, we're just smoothing it on. Again, this water slide has had about like two to three hours to dry. Um, so we're just doing a pretty generous coat. I would say this is about 15 milliliters of epoxy that we're putting on here. Making sure we got the rim, smoothing everything out really nice. And then after this, we will let it kind of roll overnight for about eight to 10 hours and come back in the morning and see what we got for day two. All right, so the next morning we just did another light sanding and another um, small epoxy coat and we were done. So we got this one done super quick, um, super cute and fun, easy cup idea. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.